Hi everyone. I just re-looked at my Boba Mama intro page and realized I'm not doing what I said I would be doing, which is not great. So what I said I would be doing is sharing the ups and downs of my journey, helping other people be as authentic as they possibly can be, which is basically what I'm trying to do. So I wanted to share that yesterday I had a shit day, really shit day. I woke up feeling very, very angry, having had the day before one of the most amazingly connected, I'm great, I'm in love with the world, I feel connected to the universe kind of awesome days. And then the next day I had a shit one, which made me really angry. I woke up angry, I felt really angry. And for the first time ever, even though I've known this in theory, I've never actually done it myself, I practiced what I know in theory, which is that this is kind of my mantra, all feelings are welcome, all, all feelings are welcome. So anger obviously being one of the um, negative feelings, as it were, uh, ones that feel uncomfortable that we don't like to promote, it's all very well being serene and kind and happy and loving, that's all accepted, but when we feel disappointment or regret or hatred or anything like that, then that's a little bit taboo. So yesterday I thought, okay, I'm going to practice. And I really practiced allowing my feelings, which believe me, I've taken me years to do this before I would really beat myself up if I felt not the way I should feel. And I've mentioned in other videos before that we're living in Bali now. It's the most amazing villa. We have a private pool. It's the most gorgeous uh, setting. We're in the paddy fields. It's green. It's lush. It's sunny most of the time. It's just gorgeous. And yet when we first got here, I felt angry a lot. And I kept beating myself. Why am I feeling angry? What's wrong with me? How can I be in such an amazing setting and feel angry? What, you know, how crazy or bad must I be to have this um, feeling that doesn't match my setting at all? How ungrateful am I that I can't be happy for what I have? So obviously this would fuel it because I was never allowing myself to be angry. I did some work around that and I, and I don't feel that anymore. I got out of that kind of angriness, anger rather. Yesterday was my first time actually testing out if I can accept what I feel though. So yesterday I felt really angry and I thought, okay, I can do this. You are allowed to be angry. So it was kind of allowed about um, observing the fact that I feel really angry, not necessarily getting into it. This time I didn't do any releasing, like I mentioned in my last video about journaling and how to release angry feelings. It, was, it wasn't that kind of feeling. It was more just a really pissed offness. And I just said, okay, you're really pissed off. You're angry. You're in a beautiful setting. Doesn't really work that you're feeling pissed off, but that's okay. You're allowed, you are allowed to feel whatever you want. And that's okay. You're still okay, whatever you feel. And, and basically accepting myself. And it wasn't great all day long. I just kept thinking, yep, still feeling angry. Still feeling angry. And uh, went to bed, woke up, felt fine again. So I'm, I guess the point of this video is if you allow your feelings and you allow yourself to be feeling whatever it is that you feel when you wake up, whatever it is with the, that you feel at lunchtime, then you're giving yourself permission to be a range of emotions, to be a range of different selves. If we try and repress one of those aspects, then it just becomes unconscious. If I'd really fought against that anger, which is what I did when I first got here, it just grew, it grew, it wouldn't go away. And it got stronger and stronger until I had to literally scream my head off in a rainstorm and kind of do some kind of rain dance, um, tribal screaming at the moon thing in order to get rid of it. And that was because I'd let it go on for so long that it had grown inside me and made me feel so uncomfortable in the process. I was battling myself. Yesterday, I was able to just go, yep, yeah, anger's there. That's okay. It'll go. It's not permanent. That's the thing. I, will, I often get attached to the fact that something might be permanent. Oh my God, I'm angry. That means I'm never going to be happy again. But obviously that's not the case. It's just how it feels at the time. So yesterday I practiced. You feel shit. That's okay. It's not going to be forever. Let it out by acknowledging it, by letting yourself know that that's okay. And it went. And the more you can do that, 
and I'm practicing, I'm, I'm here with you, the more you can do that, the more you can then have empathy for other people and their struggles. Because if you can't accept your own negative feelings, then it must, it's much, much harder to accept it when other people are on top form. And I've been there too. So that was just a little tip. Well, not a, yeah, a little tip and also to give you, give you an update on my recent challenge. So I hope that resonates with some of you. If you want to read up more about my ups and downs in written form, then my blog is www.bobomama.net and that's got blogs on various ups and downs. I also have my Instagram feed if you want to see more photos of Bali because it really is beautiful. Speak to you next time. Bye.